Well, it's full time here at the SSE Women's FA Cup 2016. Congratulations, Arsenal. <laughs> Congratulations to them. Brilliant stuff. Uh, There's all packing up behind us down there. But what do you think of the game? Um, in short, I was really surprised by it. <laughs> the offside rule here was our pink ball, so Linda Hooper will give you a quick match analysis from us. Um, I think Arsenal came here with a game plan. I was surprised how much time Chelsea let them have on the ball in the first 20 minutes. And when they went one up, that was it. Close off the back line, keep it really, really contained. I don't think Chelsea ever really showed up today. Maybe the last five, ten minutes they looked like they might score. But it was really down to Arsenal being very disciplined, very organised at the back. And I thought they played the perfect and executed the perfect game plan. Um, in terms of their player of the match as well, Dan Carter, who scored. Uh, she's been brilliant in the WSL this season and was fantastic here today. Uh, probably my favourite move of the game, though, was the Lasada back heel. It was fantastic. <laughs> brilliant. What do you think happened to Chelsea? here today because they looked intimidated. They never got going, did they? Well, speaking to them, I went down to the tunnel and spoke to both Emma and also Katie Chapman and it, it feels like a few of the players didn't turn up today. Now, why that was, maybe it was the occasion, maybe it's a bit of despondency. You know, they've beaten them in the league already. They're also eight points clear in the WSL. So maybe it's to do with the fact that they thought this was going to be an easier game than it was. Uh, record attendance, nearly 33,000 people here at Wembley today. Uh, that's it for us. Congratulations, Arsenal. Yeah. And, uh, we will uh, see who makes it next year. Got to say about that as well, Arsenal. 13 times before this FA Cup winners. They've made it number 14 with the first time here at Wembley. Congratulations to them.